Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome back to Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. I've been busy. Unfortunately, I will have to play this game again, because we missed one of the achievements. When we got Zengetsu's sword, and went to go and save Jeebel. Because we did not murder Jeebel on accident and get the bad ending, we missed a bad ending. That requires I replay the game or we can't get all the achievements. That's not a problem. There's a new game plus and I get to keep all of my stuff, which is another reason why I kind of went ham. And and did and did some things. Just just a few. So uh I may have grinded three and a half million gold and then just bought alkahests and made things and then broke them apart and then made things and broke them apart until I made pretty much every item in the game. I have hit a wall though because I need items from the remaining bosses that we still have to beat. And techniques is only 14% because I, I haven't used them and it doesn't mark them off until you've used them at least once I believe. But uh, we got to finish the quests, and we got three bosses to do, and then I got a bunch of items to make so we can turn all these into hundreds. Also, I didn't realize it wasn't recording when I did it, but uh, this guy was, as we remember, up here in the Oriental Lab. He was down here. This is where the two the two bridges are that I was like, how do we get under those? We had to teleport that we, we got down over here in the frozen area. We teleported down over there, and he was like, oh, wow. Fancy meeting you here, and then we were just like, I'm gonna kick your teeth in, and he was like, not in the face! And then we threw a stone at him and he teleported down here. He gave us 10,000 gold. And some experience. And a ring that wasn't very good, I don't remember which one it was. But that that's basically the story of his life. The only two quests we have left for her are to kill the two bosses that are hidden. Two of the three, anyway. And I do believe I can actually continue these quests. They wanted the fire hat, right? Here's what you asked for. This is it. Warlock's necklace. That's why I was missing stuff. Okay, the rest of the stuff is also from quests. Was that accessories? Yeah, we're still missing a bunch of accessories. Right. A silver tiara. I have those on me now. Which reminds me, by the way. We have also consumed every food in the game. And that one... That one took a while, but uh, we, we have in fact eaten all of the things and done all of the stuff. So I'm pretty sure these are the maximum stats because I looked it up to make sure we had all the recipe books. And once I had all the recipe books, I made and ate everything on the list. So uh, we're, 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 uh, we're a little strong. Also, I have... Uh, because I needed to get all of the shards, I had to get all of these to rank 9 as well. Most of them are grade 9, I'm, st I'm still working on these, but, uh... We have every passive in the game now. Even though most of them don't apply, because, like, what are daggers gonna do when I'm using a katana? And sword does not overlap with katana. I don't know why it says- oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say that it does. It's talking about my intellect. This is the right. Anyway, we need a silk dress! Which we just so happen to have, dude, this is so much faster. Honestly, I could have done this in, like, 20 hours if I just bomb-rushed the end of the game and then grinded. But that's not how I roll, dude. I enjoy the adventure. Here you go. That's what you asked for. This is it. Nice. How close is that? 91%. Not close this enough. Right. A ribbon. We were just- we have one of those that we're wearing for our luck set. Yeah, we have 14 of them, okay. I think fairies drop them. Here's what you are. This is it. This- right. Okay, we need a- oh, lol, just a diamond. Okay. Diamond should be a little closer to the- never mind, it was at the top. Here's what you- this is it. This I already have every armor in the game except for the last one, so, uh... Do I? I don't recognize that name. No way, Fornius, that's fish. I'm pretty sure I already have that, right? I have 100% completion of food, that's that... Uh, that must be, right? What did you want? Or calcum? Take it, peasant. Here's 
what you asked. This is it. Yeah, we've we definitely eaten this, right? Bornish meat. Yeah, we have seven of them now. This is the right. In memory of George, an ancient tiara. Thank. Hello. Okay, here is one of my ancient tiaras. By the way, when you have the alchemist thing, uh, completely maxed, and then you get the shard of like the passive of it, you can stack it by wearing it as your passive and also having the skill shard. And whenever you do that, you have a chance, a pretty high chance, it's like 40% or something, because it happens all the time. A 40% chance-ish to get five instead of one. So everything that we have five of, I only made one, it just gave me four more. Which is really cool, because Alkahest is dirt cheap. The price on that never goes up. So I could just buy a bunch of Alkahest, make one thing, and then I can break four of them apart and keep the original, and now I have tons of extra materials. Is that for real Solomon's ring? What does that do? Is it amazing? Warlock necklace. The beloved necklace of a great sorcerer reduces magic depletion. Solomon's ring. A ring that increases how often enemies yield shards. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many? Oh my god, I wish I did this sooner. Oh, you have no idea how many shards, how many hundreds of shards I have farmed without this ring. Ha! Six strength, six int, six luck. That's really good, actually. This is ten and ten, but you lose luck. In fact, how much do our luck rings give? That's only five. What was the other one? Gambler's ring is seven. That's pretty much as good. I could use this in a gambler's ring for our luck set from now on. Okay, we have done all of the quests for her. The last two quests for the other person is to kill the two bosses. She's craving something fluffy. So now... By the way, I got this. I figured I should mention because this ability is kind of cool. Right down in here, there's just a tiny little room where a ninja's like, Ha, I bet you're not faster than I am! And you just run along the room to the end, and then you go up and over and down and around and up. And it's it's really short. And if you put on the uh, spikes don't hurt me armor, you can literally just just walk through there. Like you don't have to do anything. You don't have to use any special abilities. I just walked through there. Then I got the dash, and then I did the, the race eight more times with the dash where the shards couldn't hurt me. And it is like you spend the entire time just waiting for him to run the whole course, and then be like, no, how could I lose? But anyway, we're super, we're like, super mega quick boy now. I also realized that uh, I did have this recipe. It's like egg souffle or something. I actually had this the last time I said I didn't recognize it, because I didn't bother to go through all the list. That's it. Oh, it's... Uh, you're welcome. Also, it's way faster to farm gold as in the currency than any other thing in the game. So, uh, if you get one gold from any of the chests in the desert, because the desert chests are the only chests that can have gold, it's the only place in the game you can find it, aside from breaking apart Rava Biral's whatever. Or not Rava Biral's, the, um, the maces from the water horses, I don't remember what they're called at the moment. You break one of those apart, and then put it back together again, and now you can buy them for pretty cheap. Gold takes forever to farm. Don't farm gold. Buy gold. Silky and sweet. I have enough materials to make any food in the game. I just have to look for the picture. Ah, chiffon cake. I'll go with this. Do it. Make five. Oh, it only made three. I didn't know we could make less than five. I guess there's still a small chance for those. Anyway. I will bequeath one of these to you. I already have that. The dish she wants is juicy on the inside. I already have that reward as well. Okay, it was a chicken saute. I realized I crafted every food in the game, so I just went to the store over here and bought one of every food in the game. I don't actually have to waste materials crafting them. Chicken saute. That's it. You're welcome. Kaladonda. Yes, I'll help. 
Something with sea urchin. The dish she wants is simple one. Is a simple one served over rice. Oh. That's the one thing I can't make, isn't it? Because it was given to me. We got- that was like one of the first food items we ever got. Whew, good thing I still had a soy sauce. I'll go with this. I mean, I guess I could just break some of the food apart. That is how I did the majority of the cooking. Making something. Like, if I needed an ingredient, I wasn't about to go run out and farm it, so I just bought a bunch of alcohest. Bought food that I'd already prepared and then broke it apart to get the food back. Uni rice bowl. That's it. Oh, it's, uh, uh, you're welcome. Is there any? Yes. Uh, I'll have... Bring Susie a risotto. The dish she wants is made with apple and rice. Demon necklace. Do I have? Wait, I have the apple stuff, right? Apple risotto. How close are we? Okay, she's still got four more. I didn't want to miss her dialogue on the final one just in case I was clicking through it. Is, yes, I'll help. Noodles and broth. With this particular dish, it's polite to drink all the soup. I suppose I'll... Did... Which one of these is the soup? Soy ramen. Another gambler's ring, very cool. Is, yes, I'll help. Food that falls apart. She says it's a simmered dish. Hey, a Dane's leaf. Ah, the Fornius fish stuff. That's how you can tell, because the fish recipe is one of the last ones you get. How you know it was intended to be done late game. Simmered Fornius. That's cool. You're welcome. I have much respect for this old lady, wanting to just try all of the good foods. She knows what's up. A beef hot pot. She says you dip the meat and vegetables in something before you eat them. Why yes, I do happen to have a beef hot pot on me at all times. It's a... Uh, meat hot pot? I'm sorry for the trouble, but... Don't worry. I- I- the wrong one? What? My bad, it's called sukiyaki. Which is why I didn't find it, because it's not called hot pot. That's it. Oh, it's, uh, I, you're welcome. Alright, I should show you guys the 8-bit nightmare stuff. Before we do the bosses. Craving something life-changing. She says it's an unforgettable meal made with a choice ingredient. Recycle hat. I suppose I'll stick around. Wow, she wants the super mega steak. Respect. I, I adore steak. Exquisite steak. This thing gives you ten strength permanently. What was your name again, Miss Miriam? Oh, thank you, Miriam. You've gone through so much trouble just for me. Oh, nonsense. You've made me a better cook. That's true. <laughs> when you need help, look to others the way I did. Someone as kind as you will come along. You deserve that. Well, that's nice of you to say. It's true. You'll see. Here's a little kindness for you, right now. Thank you, Susie. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I tuck myself in. All that food has made me sleepy. Wait a minute. Canonically, is this just one day? Was this one night? Did, did the entire events of this game take place in like four hours? Did she really eat all that? 